Today, I'd like to talk about pleating, smocking, and fabric origami. A pleat is a fold made by doubling over fabric upon itself and securing it in place. Smocking is just gathering a bunch of pleats, usually in a decorative manner, and sometimes used to gather fabric so that it stretches without elastic. Anybody who's made their own clothing or their fabric projects probably knows about them, but today I'd like to take it a step further to create fabric origami, a nice and creative way to conceal your e-textiles projects. I took some time playing around with different designs and sizes to see what I thought would work best for the projects I had in mind. I saw that this diamond smocking technique worked great with white fabric to diffuse light while still keeping the different blocks separate, which is why I used it in my Space Invader light up t-shirt. I used green lily pad sewable LEDs and coin cell battery holders with switches. You can use the conductive thread to sew the pattern, but it is easy to break and it gets tangled quickly, so I sewed the pattern first with regular thread, and then I mapped out ways for each positive and negative side. Next, I really liked the way this Lajin smocking looked. This project uses several different color lily pad LEDs, a lily pad Arduino, and a microphone on a lily pad protoboard. There's a link in the description to the code I used. Sora, this is a great project! Thanks. Lastly, I really loved this lattice design I found. This project has multiple parts, all with the lily pad Arduino, XB module, buzzer, vibe motor, and button each. When any of the buttons get pushed, it sends a signal to the other two that makes the vibe motor and buzzer go off. The idea was inspired by the fact that I can never get my coworkers' attention when they are wearing noise-canceling headphones. Ugh. John. John. <gasps> oh. What? There are tons of other designs that you could find out there to add a little flair and class to your next project. That's all for this time, guys. Go ahead and tell us what you think. Let us know if you make any projects with these kinds of things. If you want to stay up to date on all of our videos and shenanigans, go ahead and hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time.